under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. The Midsummer Classic between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on MLB Network. I'll be joined in a moment by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, but first let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Stars as voted on by you, the fans. Preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2020 National League All-Star. Now we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. Kyle Freeland, a native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Former first-round pick from the Denver area. This guy has really good stuff. I think he's more of a bulldog. Good fastball, 92 to 94 miles an hour. Good hard slider. That's his main go-to pitch. When you talk to anybody around this guy that knows him, he's the ultimate competitor with the top young left-handed pitchers in the game right now. All right, so here's how the National League All-Stars line up on D. And I'm locking in on second base for Ozzy Alves right now. This guy is an elite defender. Came up as a shortstop through the minor leagues until he dislocated his elbow. Has since moved over to second base. And also, both sides of the plate, a switch hitter with this kind of swagger and this kind of defense. Doesn't come along all Stepping in, Cesar Hernandez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. First pick, 7 0 5. Now the 1 0. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 1. Fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Game time temperature tonight 62 degrees, but should drop into the 50s before we're done. Here's the one and two delivery. And now look out as Ed runs in and gets him, and a very interesting start to this one. Well, there's no strategic reason to hit the leadoff man that I can think of, so. Now he's aboard with no outs to start the game, and that's not how you want to get your outing underway on the mound. Riding into the box, Francisco Lindor. His career numbers against this pitcher got three for four. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Especially after drilling the last guy up at the plate. That's just a great job to get your mechanics back onto you and establish yourself back in the strike zone. Hernandez on the first, nobody out. Throw over to the back, Yo, and he'll be back in standing up. On its way, 
the 0 1 pitch. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Two takes and now he's down 0 and 2. I'm not sure, but he may have been taking to give the guy at first a chance to run. Slap hard the opposite way. In there, the base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason. Be able to hang in there on an 0 2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit. This guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy. And you wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2 0, 3 1, 0 2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. From the stretch, here's the pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. And, and there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. Move the ball a little bit off the strike zone. He's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for the ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Softly hit down to third, likely no shot at two. Over to Albion. No real shot at two as he saved these in the That was kind of a high degree of difficulty right there that time. You see the off balance go to second base, and they couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. Great chance to drive it a run here in the early going. Prior to the at bat, a check on first. And the runner will get back standing. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a throw over. Runner back standing. Shaved the corner with that pitch, but it's 1-1. One one. Here's a look over the first. Oh, Runners back. A 1-1 one one home. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Comes set. Now the pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. The 2 2 one more time. And he fouls this one off. You know, taking you inside the mind of a batter right here, you can't get an auto swing, though. You still have to control the strike zone. Now a throw over to first. Oh, he's dead. Don't want to forget about it. The 2 2, one more time. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. One thing to know is that both strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy a solid work for him. When you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go in his start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. 
So here's Trey Mancini. Lifted down the line and left. And they can't run it down. And their runners at the corners now. Comes set the 0-1. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Runners at the corners, two men out. Straight three. three called, and the inning is over. Back to back strikeouts keep them out of danger. It's on to the bottom of the first, no score on MLB Network. him to throw another one. And this will be fouled away. Weakly hit to third. Deal it cleanly. And there's one away. First pitch on its way. And he takes ball one. Albies with a one and one count now. A pretty aggressive pitch right there up in the zone. Surprised he didn't offer at it. Comes on one and one. Hey. The fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. A swing and a miss. He offered it a ball way outside the strike zone for out number two. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. 
He might have been sitting on a monster pitch, but instead he gets the basketball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. As the fastball was swung out and missed. Good location down at the knees for strike one. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. Played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Hitting 
second baseman Cesar Hernandez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Drops one down here and they'll try to beat it out. And the throw no, is safe. too late. He's on with a beautiful place one single. Now and now they've got him picked off. The tag and they'll get him at second. And with that, this side is retired. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the American League two and the National League nothing. Bottom of the inning now. And next to bat will be the outfield. Bryce Harper. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning start. Well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. That misses two and zero. Too old to a guy with this kind of pop. You better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count. Two and one now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Turned on down the line. Well, this will be a foul ball as that even stands at two and two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Legs turning. He's headed for second. High bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground ball double. Hey, he started the offensive production with a bang right there. That's the first hit of the game, and it's a good one. Driving that ball to and over the wall for a ground ball double, and he's basically able to stroll into second base. Acuna digs in one now, up. and she'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there and now he's only 90 feet away. Too high. And it's three and oh. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitch is falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. The 3 0 pitch. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. Here's Manny Machado now, and he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early, I don't expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. This is taken outside for ball one. it up one and one and here's a ball hit in the air Reddick coming on but this will land untouched runners are in first and third with none out And he 
Yeah, lays off the pitch two. outside as they draw even at two and two. Don't quite know where that one missed, but it's not for me to decide. Three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Working for the punch out and the offering. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Two low count, pitch. Too tight Three with that one. Three and oh. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. I'm on the mound. I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. 3 0 pitch. Oh, swing and a miss, strike Three one. Ball. I kind of like the aggressive attitude right here. I know he's in a jam. What does he do? He goes to his best stuff, and that's the fastball. Runners are at first and third, one away. It's up to a 3-2 full count now. I got three and two. And two strikes now and a runner at first. Do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Now the three and two pitch. Line drive to left. This will get over the wall in the back, so just the one run will be allowed to score. Are you playing this ball for a basketball short? This is going to happen more often than any other ball. And that'll bring in Marcelo Zuna. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Runners are at second and third with one down. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. out in front of that one still two and two open to send him packing pitch on its way on deck the powerful right-handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt Oh. 
guess this one is ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. And I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. Now in the box, Paul Gorchman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. First pitch of the at bat. Oh, that guy. Obviously, a huge situation in the game here, but at the plate, he's got to keep it simple. You can't try to do too much just because the bases are juiced. At the very least, just find a way to get that tying run home from third. The 1 0. It's offered at and missed for the first strike. The bases are loaded with only one out. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. He's ready, now the pitch. Rip down the first baseline, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady and one and two. Set. Now the pitch. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Hernandez at second. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two and it gets him out of the inning. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Luis Castillo. Six foot two inch now, right hander jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 50. With Mark DeRozan being pleased at that fast version here as Francisco Lindor gets ready to kick off the inning. Down the way. Oh, and one, here it comes. Awfully close with the slider there, but it's one and one. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Two balls in a strike. himself back in the driver's seat started off with one strike and now he's got to count in his favor three and one Aye. strike taken as that one crosses over the inside Aye. part of the plate full count still Hit back up the middle. And a dive, but it's off his glove, and that should go as a base hit. And he will not have time to recover it short. That's an infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's all, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, here on a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. He swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Down the first baseline. One there. 
Relay to Goldie, and that gets him as well a double play. That's one of the hardest double plays for him. He's got to play zone. A good goal throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking Settling in now, Joey Gallo. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up, up of the zone. Eh, he'd like to have that one back. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Gallo is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not oh, a dead cool. pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat. Popped him up. Rio Muto has a play. And that retires the shot. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's a lead for the American League, two to one. Eduardo Rodriguez, you're a six foot two inch left hand. Johnson to take over on the hill. Number 57, Eduardo Rodriguez. Bottom of the third now. And that'll run for the slugging shortstop, Franco. Number 19. on the way off the plate and away there one ball no strikes the 1-0 home that's Bolton no strike They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And nope, good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Well, there's only a one-run push in the play, but so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. The go ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Digging in, Ozzy Albion still looking to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch on its way. Oh, Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. I don't mind the aggressiveness right there. He was definitely trying to get the head to a fastball. He pulled the string on that one. He's going to have to stay back a little bit longer. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Now a move over to first, oh, but the runner's back easily. Here's Cody Bellinger. He looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 
0 for 1 for him here in this one. one here's the pitch weak grounder back to the mound he's got it the tag gets one but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out first here with two done in the inning and that will bring up Bryce Harper from the stretch Here's a fastball called for strike one. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. He's gone, he's gone. And there he goes towards second. Oh. Pitch outside the throw. He's been there easily. Both bounces on the way down. I like the decision to steal right there, and it worked out. With two outs, there's not a lot to lose if you get caught, but if you get there successfully, all of a sudden you're just a single to the outfield from pushing a run across. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Still a ball and two strikes. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hit on the ground out for short. Throw in time on the side is retired. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on. On now to the top of inning number four. It's the American League Two and the National League One. Patrick Corbin of South Boston, standing six foot three, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Patrick Corbin. Set for the start of the fourth, and stepping in the long ball threat, Trey Mancini. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there, strike one. And misses one and one. high, it's one and one. Here's the pitch. Fastball nope. well outside. Two and two the count. down the way. Rounded down the third baseline. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. Here comes the first pitch. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. And he comes back with one in there for a high strike. Corbin is pretty much a manager's dream coming out of the bullpen. High strikeouts, doesn't walk a lot of batters, usually a recipe for a lot of success. Oh, that's one of the keys. I think if you were to build the perfect relief pitcher, you'd want a guy that throws a lot of strikes, that minimizes the base on balls, and nobody does it as good as this guy does right now in the game of baseball. Line drive to center field. Ozuna is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Boy, sometimes they say you hit it hard, and good things will happen. Well, that's not the case right there. That was a bullet just stayed up, and it's caught in the outfield. Doubled in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach to save it. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. 
That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Hey. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Good slider there, but laid off and called the ball low. Late making contact on that swing, and will do it again on one and two. Now the pitch. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up and really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. This one misses, and that will fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count. He just seems to keep hanging right in there. There's ball four. At the plate, Mitch Garver. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Throw over to the bag and the runner back. throw down skips he's in, in and he's he's safe. safe close play but he's in there that's pretty savvy base running right a lot of pitchers don't throw over twice in a row so I think he was going on first movement and it worked out nicely fourth inning of a two to one ball game that's that wide two and oh now you can see he's working around this guy right here why not First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. The set and the 2 and 0 hit to first. And the stolen base winds up as a moot point as the inning is over. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The American Leaguers on top, two to one. Mike Miner, the 6 4 southpaw, comes in out of Boltman to do the pitching. Number 23, Mike And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Makes a base to get a walk in his first play appearance. Here's a pick. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Wind up and the 0 1. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. One ball, two strikes. Get hard back up the middle, and that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. He had him on the ropes right there. Got to leverage two strikes against the batter. He's been able to put that in everything. That guy had a strike in the throw right there. Speed really good in this 
paid off there. Second, nobody out. Taken high and deep to right. Back goes Reddick at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Nice running catch on his play that time as we get a look at it again with show track. A nice route, covered a good amount of ground. Sometimes that's the bad news of 
well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. He'll take a look at the pitch too low. It's ball one. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. The 1 0. There's a slider taken for a ball. Boy, this is one of those tricky spots for a pitcher, right? You have an open base, but you have a guy on deck that can do a lot of damage. Not a good spot to be in if you're a pitcher right now. And here's a fastball for a strike. Two and one now. Hey, you get too low, your eyes light up. But you're sitting in one spot. And he obviously didn't get it right there. But he still finds himself in a 2-1 count, ready to do some damage. And he lays off again, ball three. Trouble waiting next as you see Mike Trout in the on-deck circle. Two runs, seven hits. No errors thus far for the American League. Had a good 3-1 cut, but he misses the splitter 3-2 and two now. Lifted in the air to center. And that gets over the wall now, but both runners will score anyway. There's an interesting play right there. Base open. They elect to pitch to him. And what does he do? He hits a ground rule double, which forces the run from second and third to come in to score. Here's the center fielder, Mike Trout, as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. home. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. No one out with a runner at second. Got him swinging too low, but he missed the splitter two and one. He struggled a bit coming out of the bullpen here, so he needed that strike. Maybe it settles him down a little bit. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots, and now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Hey, this pitch better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Round ball foul down the left side. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Hard hit at third. Machado is there. And that's out number one. Mancini. This will get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Stanek. 
28 years old. He throws a four seam fastball, a slider, a splitter, and a two seam fastball. Three runs already home here. Behind 0 and 2 now. Kicks and deals. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so bad? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. You think you can drive it, but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Here's Carlos Santana now. A dive, but it's off his glove. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. No mistake when he was sitting on. Fastball, middle of the plate, kept his hands back, stayed through the baseball. There the hard hit line drive. Ready for another chance? Jose Ramirez. He's got a chance to add on to what's already been a big inning for him. Yeah, two on here and three on the board already. They've absolutely come out and forced the issue with this inning. Matt, a hit here could really fire up that dugout. Here's the first pitch to him. Count one and oh. Runners at the corners, two men out. Balls too far inside. inside. Ball two. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. On the move is Ozuna. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So they strike for three runs on five hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. The AL out in front here. Five to one. Charlie Morton, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. Number 50, Charlie Morton. Goldschmidt now. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a punch in the eighth and ninth inning. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. Right-hander going six foot five. He throws a four-seam fastball, a curve, a two-seamer, a splitter, and a cutter. The pitch. The ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Yeah. Fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Into the box now, Franco. As he lays off the fastball too low for ball one. It was a walk in his last trip. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. 
Gallo will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now back, And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0 1. And no swing apparently, ball one. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. He's around first, heading for two. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And he is in the second with a two out double. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting his baseball back. He pumped that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up and he was able to put good wood on. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. In the dirt here. And no advance. It's ball one. with the 1 0 split finger fastball there inside 2 and 0 hey, you want to talk about being in the zone this guy's been raking lately and it all starts with his pitch selection two great takes and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him popped him up Lindor over to his right and that ends the inning danger averted following the two out double don't touch that remote more on MLB Network right after this. Digging in once again Mitch Garver leading for two on his line this far. Offering on its way down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And one and one. low, it's a ball and a strike. One. You got two balls, one strike. Popped up. Goldschmidt is there. Makes the play one away. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-up. Well-executed pitch there. Now it's play Josh Reddick. Here's the first pitch to him. Skied into straightaway right. Bellinger's under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now back, second base pick. Big dog. Turn again. Stepping into the box, Cesar Hernandez. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Tried to check it in its own oh, one. one. The 0 1 
delivery. Ball. One ball, one strike. Round it back up the middle. Throw on the first, gets him, and the side is retired. American League goes down in order. They're up five to one. Bottom of the set for the American League. Number 65, Jacob Unit. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Bryce Harper, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. First delivery to him on the way. Hey. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation, I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. Oh, and one to count to Bryce Harper. Nope. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. Behind now, three and one. Well, that's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters' counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Dan, I know you fight as an offensive player to get a 3 1 count. What's the tension level on the mound throwing this guy? Ronald Acuna set him up empty oh, that time on a sinker at strike one. Oh and one, here it comes. That's a fastball that crowns him a bit, and it's one and one. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. We're in the sixth inning now of a five to one ball game. And this one's in the dirt. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Here's a look over first and the runner back safely. Nobody out, runner on first. Hit out towards second. The second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. But that's not the guy you're going to see doubled off very often. So that was a quick turn at second base. Good transfer and a strong throw. First delivery to him on the way. Ball one, no strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. That one will get out of play, and the count evens up at one and one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. And the move is trout. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Nothing doing there for the National League. They're down here five to one.
Your attention, please. Now, so a new pitcher is set to enter the ball game right now, and it's the converted catcher, the hard throwing right hander, Kenley Jansen. Number eight is up on the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. Now behind in the count, 0 and 1. And now a pitch on the way. And he drops it. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. The center fielder, number 27. Leori Garcia come on to pinch hit now with the runner at first and nobody out. Leori Garcia. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 to one ball game. Just a tick behind for a strike.
2-1 pitch. Swing, and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep, and you can forget about it. This ball is gone. So a two-run homer down the line in left, as it's now a six-run ball game. That one definitely seems worth taking a look at with show track. It wasn't a particularly deep home run, but as you can see, he connected pretty well. 110 miles an hour off the bat, and it got out of here in a hurry. Miguel Cabrera will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Miguel Cabrera. That one didn't really threaten the inside corner. One one pitch coming now to Cabrera. Taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. Here now the 2-2. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Fouls this one off. The 2-2 two -two one more time. We got three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A-B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Still full, three and two. They off pitch one more time, and he lays off all four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. What's the saying? Now, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously right. hasn't heard that one. Stepping in, Jose Ramirez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First offering on its way. Hit down the third baseline. It's off the plate one and one. From the stretch. Two ball, one strike. And he missed again. High and away this time. Three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than the hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Three and one pitch. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Now, a payoff pitch home. 
High fly ball after straightaway center. Ozuna is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the American League seven and the National League one. Ladies and number eight will stay in the ball game as a new shortstop. A defensive team for the American League. Now playing center field. Leori Garcia stays in the ball game Leori in the nine hole and Garcia. takes over out in center now field. In center field. Fran Moreyes takes over out in left field now after left entering the game in a pinch hit goal last half inning. Miguel Cabrera remains in the game, eight. batting ninth now and manning first base. Number 24, Miguel Cabrera. Brad Hill gets the ball from the pen to take over on the number mound and start the home seventh. Brad. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and in steps the catcher JT Real Muto. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0. Fouled off. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball Counting two. Two and one. Two one. He swung on and missed, and that's strike two. They'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. Get a count in your favor and swing at a pitch that bad? Not good. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Two pitch. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Garcia is right there, one down. Now batting, the center fielder, Marcel Ozuna. Ready now, Marcelo Zuna. He flew out in his last at bat. Set and the pitch. One out. A fastball well off the plate for a ball. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's fouled away. The one one home. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Fouled away. Here's another two two lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And look out. Right, that one ran in and got him. Wow, I'm not sure if he was looking past this guy to the slugger coming up or just lost focus. But now the big bat steps to the plate with a great RBI opportunity. Brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the play. First offering on its way. Nope, that's ball. Starting with a slider that's taken ball down one, and no away start. for ball one. And he 
fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Hand, a Minnesota born ball player. He throws a slider, four seam fastball, and a two seam fastball. out of the zone. One oh count, here it is. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. Fouled off. Two. I got to two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. He stays alive, still two and two. Runner on first with two away. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Two, two, one more time. And that's a base hit in the center field. Dan, how frustrating that must be. Eight pitch at bat. Well done. They beat through everything to do. It's in sync. Speed pitch is fast balls. And on the eighth pitch, left one out over the plate. Just enough for a base hit for a third turn. Start to loosen up in the on deck circle. It's hit back with two on and two out here. Strike there, 0 and 1. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning. Here's the 0 1. Up. And no one will get this one. Two down runners at first and second. Fouled away. O2 once more. Well. One ball, two strikes. And that's going to be high two and two now. Hit to third. Ramirez is up with it. The easy way to Hernandez to retire the side. This one pretty well in the bag. Eighth inning coming up. 
It's a lead for the American League, 7 to 1. Wilmer Flores remain in the game in the ninth spot in the order and take over at shortstop. Now playing shortstop. Trey Turner will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. Now at second, number seven, Trey Turner. Ken Giles comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. Ready to begin the eighth, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Mitch Garver. Be set, here it comes. Oh, Winning yeah. inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Giles, originally from the state of New Mexico, he throws a four seam fastball, a slider, and a sinker. Looked at off the plate for a ball. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. And now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here. It's two and one now. Fastball now for a called strike two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Now the payoff pitch home. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. with the first pitch here it comes hey. tight break with the slider there catches the inside for a strike a runner at first with no outs here fouled off Waiting and now the pitch. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. And this guy loves to throw the slider. And it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that point. This starts this one too far inside and points the hitter. Yohan Moncada get a chance to swing the bat here, and he'll do it in a good spot. Because he has runners at first and second, and nobody out in the inning. There, no balls and a strike. And he's way off balance with the swing there. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Nope. That's a stole cold take right there. Easily could have been rung up instead. First and second here with nobody out. And it's fouled away.
The next one two pitch. stays upstairs it's a ball and no strikes now the 1 0 Well, he's behind in the count now, and he's probably going to have to turn to something hard and straight right here. Uh, three, one. Eight, two. Can't come out of this game okay. plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four seamer right there, but get back to that two seam. It's what his MO is. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Sean Carlos Stanton will come on now as the pinch hitter. Pinch hitting for the American Leaguer. Number 27, Sean Carlos Stanton. And that misses ball one. Hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. One one. It's taken for strike two. Hey, it's looking like he may be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. A little low, it's two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Uh, two two. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. AL leave a pair. They're on top seven to one. Yohan Moncada will remain in the game at second base after coming on as a pinch hitter in the last half inning. Number 27, Giancarlo. Bo Bichette now will remain in the game in the eighth spot 11, and take over at shortstop. Now it's Sean John Carlos Stanton stays in the ball game batting number eight now and takes center. over in center field. So the new pitcher is set to take over now, and here he is, the fire balling left-hander of Roldis Chapman. Jesus Sanchez. Now try and get his club back into it here as he'll pinch hit to lead off the home half of the eighth. And he starts 
him out with a strike on the outer half. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Sent on the ground out to second. Moncada fields it cleanly. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Number three. Designated hitter. Jason Dominguez move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Jason Dominguez. My fastball is in there. Ready with the 0-1. All one. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. And looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it. Two gone. Wilson Contreras will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out when the base is empty. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. Sets. Here's the delivery. Yeah. Ooh, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Bases are empty here with two men out. And fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. And L down in order. They're down seven to one. Sanchez this stays in the game after the pinch hitting and he'll be patrolling right, right field. Number seven. Hey, Wilson Contreras will stay yeah. in the ball game now and take over yeah. in the left yeah. field. Number four. Will Smith has from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the school right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Set to start the ninth in this one. And digging in now, Fran Morales. Here comes the first pitch. Ball in. Pitch. Nope, that's off the plate. Ball two. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Now the 2 0. So he's behind three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Fouled off.
Here's the payoff pitch. Hard ground ball to third. Throw on first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now batting, the designated hitter, Martin. Number 33 will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Pinch hitting to the American League. Number 33. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. One, here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Danger looms on deck here in the person of Miguel Cabrera. Hit hard towards center. And that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. Well, fastball counts there. He yielded the fastball mark. Yeah, you drive to the ball park and train to get in one, three, one, two, and nine. You buy yourself that guaranteed fastball. You get a mess. Josh Donaldson will come on as a pinch hitter. Number 20, Josh Donaldson. Fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Ah, he takes something oh, off there and had him way out in front for strike two. Swing here by Donaldson, but he got out in front a bit too much, and that's a foul ball. The next 0 2. The count is 1 and 2. This one off. The one two. Crawford hey. had and missed. He chased it for strike three. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because. Once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. First pitch of the at bat. Jose Ramirez is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. He dropped that curveball in for a strike right there, but don't kid yourself, that's a dangerous pitch. He needs to start thinking about maybe working that back door, or that could get some serious damage done to him. Whoa, that's that's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Oh, yeah. Fouled away. The one-two. 
is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Sixth, seventh, and eighth place hitters scheduled to start the bottom of inning number nine. It's the American League seven and the National League one. Josh Donaldson stays in the ballgame after pinch hitting as he'll take over at first base. Now playing first base. Number 20. Diego Castillo will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Now pitching for the American League. Number 63. Diego Ryan Healy get up off the bench to lead off the whole half of the night. They've certainly got their work cut out for them here, so they'll just need to work on getting the board. And that's in there for a strike. One and one. Left out. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Uh, no doubt, and he's one of my favorites, mostly because of the stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now, JT Real Muto, as the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. One out, nobody on. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. And this is hit on the ground a second from Montana. Now with the plate, Marcelo Zuna. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully, it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Now, the line drive here is caught. And if that's not symptomatic of the way this one's gone, the ball game is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. 7 1, the final score in tonight. The American League All Stars took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Luis Severino gets the W on the mound. Kyle Freeland only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB Network. Good night, everybody.